what's up everyone so if you've checked my previous video after I finished this I just did a simple cut so today I just wanted to just share with you guys how accurate this thing is <clears throat> I already took several video of showing how that how dead center are like this part the base the spindle and also the stock there are a few very small issue with them uh, first let me tell you what's the spindle so the spindle is 16 tpi and inside it is about 11 points 50 60 millimeter or 45th of a 45th of an inch um, so this part takes MT1 and this one takes MT0. I don't have MT0. This one, uh, it came with uh, life center. I have to make a dead center so I can check the, the two center between the spindle and the tail stock. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make that one actually. I've never done it. <clears throat> so this would be interesting. Now, another issue about this specific design is that if you want to take the, this tail stock out you have to remove the handle completely and then take this out and put it back again this is kind of uh, time consuming especially it could change the backlash it, it has a little bit of backlash you see like this part it takes a full turn before it makes a move <coughs> And this one only uh, just a little bit. If you let's see, let's put it on zero. If you go to zero, you see that's just a little bit. It's not much. And on this one, let's put it to zero. Okay, ten. There you go. That's how much backlash it has. Now these are the shims but they're plastic i wonder if i make one with brass would it make any difference or not um, so they're a little rough or hard to work with sometimes sometimes it just depends it's only uh, connected with only two screws so that's why and another problem with this backlash in here is that So you see this whole cross slide is connected through this piece of brass in here and this piece of brass through these three screws you can move the tail stock so you see if i move this it moves you see and that's where the backlash is from now another thing is that once you tighten this up not a lot just even a little bit and also the middle one just a little bit it does you see it takes away the backlash but the only problem is that now you can't even move it now you see it's very hard to move it the whole wood so that's the problem I have with this I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I have to and unfortunately there's no video out there about these kinds <clears throat> or these brands now another thing about the motor is that again these are all share line products but this one was made by Shareline, as I mentioned, as I've mentioned before, they're made by Shareline, ordered by Sears during late 70s till 80s, and under the name Craftsman. And maybe, maybe they ordered they Craftsman wanted to have a cheaper or lower quality motor so they can sell it cheaper. I'm not sure, but uh, on a low RPM. 
it doesn't work very well let me show you i mean it it does the job for me but obviously if you want to work with low rpm then you need to change this motor for sure so check this out you see on a low rpm i don't know why i opened it i cleaned it up everything looks good still and it's not powerful oh, i damaged that area great so you see i damaged this area because i didn't lock the chuck so as I was running the motor, it opened and then boom, got stuck in here. Um, anyway, so the motor, this is how it is. So I might change it. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. One. So now, one good thing about this brand is that since it's Shareline, uh, you can find all the parts. On their website and it's very affordable some of them are cheap some of them are not but still i mean the good thing is that it's a company so you can contact them if you have any problem i like the old craftsmen's um there was another thing that i found out was that this one i didn't know what it is for these two and then later on based on watching videos on youtube i found out that these are for uh, gear changes in case if you want to cut the screw with it and also this part as well there's a handle that connects that for the thread cutting but overall it's very good now I have a Unimat as well Unimat SL1000 that one is very good honestly I mean these two both are both are good but Unimat is something else I'm going to make another video later on comparing these two together this one and the unimat we'll see thank you what to you so there's a block in here that wasn't in here at first it didn't have anything so you have to put this in order to lock this area otherwise uh, it's kind of loose it won't work so you have to have this it looks like a shim it's not a shim it's like a block i guess I call it a block. So I found this piece of brass and I used it for here. And that's how it works. But if you want to change the angle, you need to remove that.